All right, MTB. Okay, I see you coming with the little tea or whatnot. A child, this episode was good. What's going on, y'all? It's your favorite Auntie Momo. We are back again for another episode review of Catfish, y'all. This is season eight, episode 46, Brittany and Mark. Hold on, first of all, before we get into anything, of course, y'all already know how my church announcements go. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Because if not now, not nothing else, baby, I'm going to come with these hot fire catfish reviews, okay? Make sure your notification bells is turned on, all that good stuff. Make sure you're checking out my description box below for a bunch of black girl magic, a bunch of good entertainment, and all the other good stuff. Look here, I don't want this review, uh, review to be long because... MTV, y'all listened, okay? I just want to take the time to say thank you because this episode was tea, okay? Um, it, 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 it gave everything that needed to have been given. It was the right amount of mix of mess like I like it <laughs> with a crazy bitch at the end. Child, I love a crazy bitch. But look here, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this review, y'all. Hopefully, y'all got y'all some good to drink. Because if you watch this episode, you already know how it went down. Girl, <laughs> hot ass damn mess. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because, baby, I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's go and get up into it with y'all. All right, y'all. So, we have Brittany. She's 25 from Ontario, Canada. She's been talking to this guy named Mark for the last three years. Now, this is how they met. Off the rip, it was sketchy as hell. He sends her a message on Facebook saying that he's seen her nude photos on a revenge website and she th he thought she was hot. She was like, bitch, what? He was like, yeah, I seen your butt naked pictures on his website, you know, where people post pictures when they want to get back at bitches, you know, for whatever reason. And um, I saw your butt naked on there. I was like, damn, she hot. So I just figured I'd go ahead and, you know, inbox you, see what's up. Real goddamn sketchy. Now, mind you, he sent her a message again on Facebook Messenger. They ain't got no mutual friends. How the hell he found her on doggone Facebook? She don't even daggone know. So she says that... um. A little secret about how she had ended up meeting Mark. Now, she says that she had just got out of a relationship, a three-year relationship with her supervisor who was married, okay? The wife ended up finding out about their affair, shut the shit down. The dude ended up getting fired from his job, almost lost his marriage, almost lost his wife, probably lost some goddamn hair, lost some weight, lost all of that, right? So this dude, Mark, sent her a message right after she met, I mean, right after she had had the affair with her ex-supervisor, right? Now, she does admit that maybe it was her ex. Now, the ex name is Billy. That's who her ex-supervisor was, who she was having an affair with. Now, she does admit that she did send some new photos and stuff like that to Billy. So, she was thinking that maybe it was Billy that put her pictures up on this revenge site, or maybe it was his wife. Because the wife, again, the wife came in, like a motherfucking wrecking ball came in on some crazy shit and shut the shit down. Now, Brittany says that she did end up telling Mark about the whole situation about what happened with her and Billy. And Mark was all into it, baby. Mark wanted to know all the tea. So much so that he was so intrigued by it that it started to kind of creep her out. So she kind of like backed up from him, you know, for a little while up until recently she started talking to him again. What had happened was this fool sends her a message and it's like, hey, I got a new roommate. The nigga name is Bill. He look like this. He tall, slanky, always wearing a baseball cap, believe in UFOs and, and, and all kind of conspiracy shit. You know, he thinks we being in, you know, microchipped and all that shit. He's a real conspiracy theorist. You probably know him. And she was like, hold on. Is it is a nigga named Billy like Billy is a is it Billy Goat? Because I know a nigga named Billy Goat. He was like, as a matter of fact, it is Billy Goat. So it was just goddamn weird. So ever since then, they've been talking. Now, since Brittany has been talking back with Mark, Mark has been planting this little bug in her ear that maybe whoever it was that, you know, um, put your pictures up on the revenge site. Maybe it was your ex, Billy, that did it. Maybe he's not over his wife. Maybe he's still in love with you. Um, as a matter of fact, Billy got a new phone number. Let me give you his new phone number so you can go ahead and holler back out at Billy. And it was just goddamn weird. But again, she just... <laughs> Kept on trucking along with the shit. I mean, very beautiful. Looked very intelligent. 
Again, I have to say this every damn episode. Why the fuck is we here? Because you look smart. You look educated. You don't look like somebody that should be dealing with this kind of bullshit right here. That's just, you know, that's just what I goddamn think. Now, she does say that she has not talked to Billy on the phone since they've been back in communication. The only time that they have somewhat talked on the phone, which they didn't even really talk, is when they had phone sex about a month ago. Now, she didn't see Billy. She says that it was pitch black in there. She couldn't really hear his voice. She could hear it a little bit, but she was just basically more or less showing herself when they were having phone sex. But she has said that Billy has sent her dick pics and she knows what the dick pics look. I mean, she was on that motherfucker for three years. So it is really his dick pics that he's sending to her. But again, he won't FaceTime and he won't talk to her on the phone. Now, since Brittany has been talking back with Billy, Billy has been telling Brittany that he's going to end up leaving his wife for her. But then she talks to Mark and Mark is telling her that Billy ain't even with his wife anymore. So at this point, a lot of the stuff that Mark is saying and that she's thinking or that Billy is saying she's thinking that Billy and Mark are basically one and the same, the same person. Just because Mark is trying so adamantly for her to get back in contact with Billy and plus Mark is putting it in her head that maybe it was the wife that did that or maybe it was Billy that did that or maybe he made a mistake and he really wants to be with you. Go ahead and holler back at him. So she's thinking, okay, what if this is really Billy? He just doesn't want to come out and let me know that it's him because again, he married to this crazy bitch and I don't want her coming out here keying up my motherfucking car. And Neve and Cammie ask her some more questions about Mark. Now she says that Mark has sent her money before. Now she asked for some money for gas or something like that. And Mark was like, sure, yeah. But what he did was he had his cousin Joanne wire her the money. Right? Sketchy as fuck. Now she says that as far as it goes with Billy, Billy has had has made care packages for her with weed and alcohol and a bunch of other trinkets, probably now ladies and funyuns and Cheetos and shit up in it. A whole goddamn gift basket tells her to come to his house to pick it up, leaves it either out there on the side of the wife's car or leaves it sitting on top of the wife's car. She's done that a few times. Now, she says that when, you know, she gets ready to come over there, she tells him, like, she doesn't want to come over there because she, again, she don't want to smoke this crazy-ass goddamn wife. Billy tells her, I don't worry about it. She downstairs in the basement. I don't want, I ain't worried about her ass anyway. I'm going to leave her for you. Go ahead, come over here and pick up this gift basket. Girl, I got this good way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got this good-ass brown look. Got some goddamn Funyuns and hot Cheetos and shit. You better come get this gift basket, girl. So regardless of all the goddamn red flags that's in her face, uh, face, she is still holding on to faith that maybe this is Billy this whole time that she's been talking to, right? Now, <laughs> she says um, she doesn't have any pictures of Billy because, of course, Neve is like, okay, I got to see this motherfucker Billy because we already see who the hell Mark is. I got to see this dude Billy. She doesn't have a single picture of Billy because Billy says it would be too incriminating for him to send her any photos of his face, mind you, but he doesn't send pictures of his dick. Make that shit make goddamn sense. It was just real sketchy from the get-go. And again, it was all these goddamn red flags. And it was the fact that she didn't see the damn red flags in her face for me. I'm like, girl, we really finna go through this? But here we go. We finna get into the investigation, y'all. So they first search the photos for Mark. They don't find nothing. They search the old phone number that Mark gave her when they first started talking. Now she says she never used that phone number because again, they were just talking through Messenger and he was goddamn, you know, asking too much shit. So she never even called him on the phone. They only talked on Messenger. So they searched the old phone number for Mark. Didn't come up nothing, right? They searched his Facebook and the last post was from three years ago, right? And it was only those two posts, but the actual Facebook page itself goes all the way back to 2012. Now, this dates back way before um, Billy even started talking to Brittany. So they're like, okay, well, maybe it's not a possibility that it could be 
you know, Billy or the wife, because again, this was before he had even, you know, gotten with her in the first place, right? So they end up searching on um, Mark's friends list and on Mark's friends list, they see Joanne and they remember that Joanne was the name of the cousin that sent her the money, right? So that of course they end up sending Joanne a message, wait to hear back from her. Now in the meantime, they end up searching the new phone number that Mark gave to Brittany for Billy. Bitch, that number come back registered to Bobby. Bobby is the name of Billy's fucking wife. So they like, okay, now what the fuck is this? So they thinking, okay, it could be the wife doing something on some old sketchy ass shit, but why would she send the bitch money? Why would she send her weed? Why would she send her alcohol? Why would you even try to get her to get back together with your man? And why would you send her pictures of your man's dick? Like, no, that ain't right. That, that can't fucking be right. Only, only a fucking idiot would do that. So they think that maybe it really is Billy. They're just on some sort of family plan. And, you know, it's registered under Bobby's name is what they're thinking, right? So later on, Neve ends up getting a phone call back from Joanne, of course, which was a cousin. Now, Joanne does confirm that, of course, Mark is her cousin. And she does confirm that she was the one that sent the money to Brittany. But... Once she realized who the money was for, she didn't want nothing to do with that bitch no more because she don't like Britney because she knows that Britney is a home wrecker. And even they was asking, well, how you know all of that? You must know the whole situation with Billy and with Bobby and all that. Well, she's like, yeah, I know Billy, which is, you know, the ex-husband or whatnot or the husband or whatnot because Billy works with my husband. So he's like, oh, okay. Well, look here. Would you mind hollering at your kinfolk Mark, have him give us a call so we can talk to him about, you know, old girl. And then on top of that, do you think that maybe you can get in contact with Billy as well? And, uh, you know, how your husband call him and tell him to call us, you know what I'm saying? Because we're trying to find out what the hell is really going on. She's like, mm -hmm, I don't know. I have to see. But let me just get your information and I have them give you your call back or whatnot. She was sketchy. Y'all didn't know we got to put a post note next to this bitch name because I don't trust her ass. She was sketchy. Now, later on, when Neve is with Cammie, Joanne ends up sending Neve a text message. And it's like, um, so is Brittany really interested in Mark or does she want to get back with Billy? And so before they respond back, Neve is like, hold on. Let me search this number, see what the fuck is really going on. They search the phone number and, of course, it comes back registered to Joanne. So Neve is like, um... Well, hell, I don't want to scare the bitch off. What should I say? He was like, well, maybe dot, dot, dot. So she responds back, ow. Oh. She just seems like some old sketchy ass female that will lie and try to do anything she can do to get somebody man. I don't trust that hoe. I'm just saying. Neva's was like, shit. Can we say, well, ask a bitch, send her another goddamn message. Ask a bitch, bitch, what's tea? What's good? So Neva ends up sending her another text message. It was like, is this something that you want to tell us? Like... Girl, we friends. Girl, spill the tea. What's good? Joanne says, all I got to say is, be careful. I don't trust the bitch. Cammie was like, see? Now I'm looking at Brittany ass sideways. Why is this random cousin sitting up here telling us that we need to be careful? We need to watch out for her ass. Now I'm going to look at Brittany ass sideways because that means her ass is holding out on something. They get back on the line with Brittany, give her the tea and all of that. And Neve and Cammy kind of let her know on the cool, like, bitch, you know, we got to put all these puzzle pieces together. And you a puzzle piece too, mama. Well, I don't know what's going on with you because according to Joanne, we need to watch out for you. So what's good? What's tea? Let me know something. You know what I'm saying? Brittany says she ain't got to lie that he reached out to her, that he ignored her after the whole affair. Billy, he ignored her. She didn't have no closure after that, none of that. This dude, Mark, reached out to her. Billy reached out to her. She didn't go seeking none of their ass. So she's talking about my hands is clean. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I ain't got shit to do with the shit, right? Brittany also said that after the fair, Billy's wife, Bobby, had a whole bunch of friends and a whole bunch of family that started stalking her ass after the affair that was making her life a living hell. Probably going all on social media, doing a whole bunch of bullshit. Y'all know how some of y'all, some of y'all weird bitches do get on the internet and do a bunch of weird shit. It's exactly what her family and her friends started doing after that dog on the fair. So she's like feeling bad in a way that now they looking at me damn sideways when bitch, it wasn't even me. It was them, they got back in contact with me like, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is goddamn going on. 
So child, come to find out, Brittany says she never wanted to write into the show in the first place until so she was ambushed by both Mark and Billy, okay? Now, what they did was they ended up coming to her and told her that this was going to be an attempt for Billy to come clean to his wife and to let his wife know that he doesn't want to be with her no more, that he really wants to be with Brittany. Now, Brittany's whole thing was, why do I need to write into the show and, and do a reveal when I've already seen Billy before? I haven't seen all of Billy. So what do I need to do this whole doggone reveal for? Billy says that he wanted to do this so that he could just be clean about everything and that this would be his way of coming out to his wife and letting his wife know that he didn't want to be with her no more, that he really wanted to be with her, with Brittany. So basically, as she claimed, she was ambushed into doing this and it was all an attempt for her and Billy to connect and to be together, right? Now, of course... That pisses Neve off because Neve is like, you know, you could have been real with us in the, in the first place. I mean, it's already a fucked up situation. You sitting up here, you done had a whole affair with a married man. And now you kind of got us tracking down this married man again to help you and him be together. Like, don't you think it's kind of fucked up? It's kind of fucked up. That's fucked up. Some dog on wear. So at this point, Neve is like, well, shit, ain't no use of beating around the bush now. Go ahead and reach out to Billy and let him know what's good. Child. Neve ends up sending a text message to Billy and was like, what's up, what's good, what's popping, what's cracking, it's Neve from Catfish. My nigga, the jig is up. You already know what's good. Um, <laughs> you gonna talk or no? Nah. Chai, Billy ends up texting right back and was like, yep, I'm ready. Let's do this. Chai, they waiting. The Zoom bing dong pops on. Chai, it's the goddamn wife. Bitch is Bobby. Bobby, bitch. Bitch is Bobby. Sitting up here looking like goddamn Triple H from WWE. Her ass. Now, let me, you know what? I was going to try to be nice just for the simple fact of, you know, I understand you was a woman scorn because your husband had an affair. But you know what? But by all that. I wouldn't be on T-Momo if I didn't go in the way y'all know that I go in. Let's go ahead and get into the details. Now, this heifer says that Brittany has been trying to get back with her husband for the last three years. So this was her way of showing Brittany that she needed to move on and she needed to leave her husband alone. She says that she was the one that reached out to her. She's been both Billy and Mark. What had happened was this bitch reached out to Brittany and lied saying that she had found her nudes on this revenge website, which was a lie. She never found them on no dog on revenge website. She just wanted to know if her husband was actually still talking to Brittany. Once she found out that her husband was not still talking to Brittany, this heifer kept the shit going on. Like a crazy bitch. She had her cousin, Joanne, done recruited your damn kinfo to wire this heifer some money. So once she found out, okay, you in here doing this crazy shit, you pretending to be your husband, and you having an affair with your husband's mistress as your husband, but you the wife. I know, bitch, I don't want shit to do with this. Mm -mm. And I want my $20 back. I don't want shit to do with this. Brittany says, you ought to feel stupid. You sat up here and basically had an affair with me as Billy when the whole time it was you. You ought to feel stupid. Cha, the wife going to say, I have all your nudes. I have a video of you masturbating to yourself. I have all that. All 40 something. I have that. Not you. Um, boo boo. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and break it down. I, 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 am I missing anything else? From his dog on nose, cause I don't want to miss nothing. No, look here. That don't make her look dumb. That make you look fucking crazy. You had an affair with your husband's mistress, pretending to be your husband. Sent gift baskets. Oh, girl. As far as the weed and the alcohol goes, this half to say Kimmy was like, bitch, I'm not fit to buy no weed for no bitch I don't fuck with. Why would you do that? This half of Bobby gonna say, oh, I didn't buy it. I grew it. It was some good weed, too, wasn't it? Brittany was like, yeah, it was real good. Thank you, y'all. Appreciate it. Bobby's like, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Bobby, bitch, you crazy. I'm sorry. You fucking crazy. So you done, you done gave this half of your free weed, okay? Then you still gave her alcohol. You gave her money a few times. She said she got a gift basket from you a few times. You sent her pictures of your husband's dick. 
You pretended to be your husband. You have phone sex with her as your husband. Now, to a blind person, it would look like you got feelings for Britney, your damn self. You trying to get in on a piece of that wipe and see what that be like. That's just what it looked like to me from a person that don't know nothing. Why would you be carrying this shit on for this long? That don't make no damn sense. Her whole thing was she wanted to get revenge on Britney. Now, she claims that her husband knows about it, which... I don't think your husband know that. She claims that her and Billy are happy together now and that Billy knows what she's doing. Billy don't know what she's doing. Billy didn't know that shit. And I can guarantee you, even if Billy knew what she was doing, I fucking promise you, he does not know to the extent of what it is that she was doing. I can guarantee you, Billy would have reached out to Britney, his damn self, and would have told Britney, if you get another message from, from me, don't answer that back. I can't tell you who it is, but don't answer that back. Because I don't think Billy would sit up there and go along with the mess. I don't believe so. Not, not at all. Not at all. You play it yourself, wifey. I'm sorry. You play it your dog on self. Bobby's whole end game is she wanted to embarrass Britney. She wanted to basically put her out here to the world and embarrass her. So she ambushed her about going on a catfish, writing on a catfish. This crazy bitch Bobby said she had catfish on the brain. She wanted to come on here. She wanted to embarrass her, which quite honestly, let, now don't get me wrong, Britney, your hands ain't completely clean neither mama i mean it's just what it is i'm an equal opportunist around here she gonna get it because the, the the wife deserves that bitch is crazy but you you was wrong too i'm sorry you 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 kept shit going on new nigga was married and then if you seen him before face to face you done seen you know all of that and you have not facetime with him or none of that by now to be like look here i'm gonna need you to talk to me in my face with this crazy bitch Okay, because we're going to have to have a full adult understanding. It's the fact that you still sort of went and creeped along with it. That your hands is just as dirty. I'm just saying. But at the end of the day, that wife, that bitch is crazy. It's crazy. She did it on purpose. She's sitting up there looking very gentlemanly-ish and sinister in her eyes. And all that, she was very proud of what she did. And quite honestly, if given the opportunity, the bitch would have did it again. She was crazy, y'all. She was crazy. Wifey, if you see this, because I know a lot of y'all from Catfish see, see these reviews that I do. Hey, girl, hey. But girl, bitch, quite honestly, woman to woman, you should have went and you should have picked up the phone and you uh, even went to the damn job because you know what a bitch worked. Your husband got fired from there. You should have went up there to that job, if for nothing else, and talked to her woman to woman and be like, look here, bitch, guess what? I'm going to need you to back the hell up away from my husband for I have to put these paws on your ass. Do you understand that? Do you get me, bitch? I'm crazy. But no, you took it there and you kept going with it. And again, quite honestly, to anybody else, it would look like maybe you got your own little crush on Britney, your damn self. If you don't have a crush on her, you're stalking her so much to the point to where you want to know just what it was that made your husband fall in love with her. And that's fucking crazy too. Don't stalk the mistress. Don't, don't, don't check the mistress. Bitch, check your husband. Your husband was the one that fucked up. Yes, she went along with it, but she ain't signed no papers. That nigga did. So you want to do some crazy shit? You do some crazy shit to his ass. That's all I'm saying, y'all. That was the end of the episode right there. She got on my nerves. Ooh, she got on my nerves. But look here, um, Bobby, while you sending out care packages and shit, my P.O. Box is below. P.O. Box 81866, Austin, Texas, 78708. If there was anything that I missed, y'all already know what to do. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace out.